friends, this is Terry with your Leo New Moon report for July 28th. Leo will be the new moon at 1.55 p.m. at 5 degrees. And I had to wear my tiara because Leo is royalty. Leo is the ruler. And we are currently in that Lion's Gate portal, which I've been talking so much about. If you haven't heard, there's a whole nother video. I'll link to it below about the Lion's Gate portal. And this is the best time all year to manifest all that you desire for your love, heart space, really coming into manifesting what you want in your heart and just tapping into that lion's heart and getting to know what is it you even want. And also for manifesting abundance, financial abundance, something we all could use more of in this shrinkflation, stagnation that we're having in our economy right now. And I am teaching a Reiki class on August 6th for the Lion's Gate where you will receive a Reiki attunement to open your heart, to open the heart chakra so the energy can pour down through your hands to activate you to be able to give Reiki to others. But primarily remember to give Reiki to yourself. Self Reiki is key. You gotta fill the well before you give to everyone else. And I'm pretty tired right now because we just had that super moon in Capricorn. And as I told you, it was gonna be a lot of work because Capricorn is that goat climbing the mountain. And I feel like I've just been working nonstop this summer. I didn't do the uh, playing hooky like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I've just been working really hard. But I like to do this. I live in Central Oregon and Bend, and it gets really crowded here in the summer. It's just so peopley. So this is sort of my jam that I figured out from living in a resort town, is that you work hard in the summer. Make hay while the sun shines. Make your money. And then in the fall, when everyone goes away and goes back to work, and goes back to their muggle jobs, that's when I like to get out into nature and really go out hiking and camping and doing all the things. And I'm even thinking about doing a bike ride from Corvallis to the coast this fall. But, you know, really just the summer is such a good time for me to just do lots of massage and lots of work and then save up my money. And then in the fall, I'll take time off. So that's what I've been up to. And I'm recording this on July 18th. On July 19th, that Chiron in Aries that has been such a powerful transit all for a couple years now. And it's just, you know, the wounded warrior healer transit that is affecting so many of us with that Chiron in Aries return. It will be going retrograde on July 19th tomorrow. And then on July 22nd, the Sun and Ceres both enter Leo. The Sun in Leo and Ceres is the planet of harvest. And that will enter Leo. And then on August 11th, even Venus is entering Leo. And of course, we have the new moon on July 28th. So we just have a lot of signs in that Leo right now, just really asking us to shine our light, our shine our love light. And I am a Leo rising. I love Leo energy. I definitely resonate with it. <clears throat> it hits my first house of who I am. So I feel right at home during this Leo season. And um, July 31st, though, we have the possibly the most intense transit. I call it the triple threat. We're going to have a conjunction of Mars, Uranus, and the North Node all lining up in Taurus at that 18 degree mark. Holy smokes. Remember that. Taurus is in Taurus North Node is the eclipse portal that we're in. I've been talking about this all year. We're in that Scorpio Taurus axis eclipse portal, which is death, transformation, and rebirth. And this is marking an incredible reset for our whole world. And Taurus is this earth sign. And so now we have Mars Uranus and the North Node all coming together in a triple conjunction. Hold on, <laughs> this is so big. I have to do a whole separate report because I don't wanna take away from the Leo shining its light, but um, 
stay tuned and I will link down below to my triple threat conjunction astrology report but just know that this is July 31st it's going to rock our world and I would avoid doing anything potentially dangerous this day because Uranus is those unexpected shocking events and then with that Mars energy all in Taurus the you know that's the bull in the china shop it's just gonna get crazy that day and there can be a lot of mishaps and accidents occurring on july 31st so i personally would not schedule my skydiving for july 31st just avoid anything that could be potentially dangerous this is kind of a danger invoking i never want to be you know fear invoking but there is a when you study astrology you're like ah, i'm not going to schedule that for that day because this is going to be such an intense conjunction you're just going to want to like get under your desk like we did in school like an earthquake drill <laughs> and just hang out and be grounded on that day uranus in taurus brings those unexpected shocking earth events so we may see lightning storms wildfires earthquakes volcanoes tsunamis i mean who knows what's going to come with this one and then mars and taurus is like that fiery warrior coming in like a bull you know it's like fighting the bull like they do in spain and the bull is just coming right at you and you're wearing red so that is a very aggressive there's going to be a lot of aggressive energy with this and then the north node if you have north node in taurus if you know your astrology uh anyone who has that north node in taurus this year they are really going to be feeling this transit and like i said i'm going to do a whole separate report because there's so much to talk about in this one and then we also have Jupiter going retrograde in Aries on this new moon. Remember, Jupiter has been in Aries for a while. Jupiter left Pisces, moved into Aries, and this has really created an expansion of these ambitious Aries goals. And this might be a time where we need to go backwards and rethink some of our overly ambitious remember aries has so much ambitious but sometimes aries can be like that baby running into the wall it's like you want to start a new business but you don't think it all through and you just do it really quickly and it's not really working out because you just you just went too fast and furious that's how aries aries is the baby of the zodiac and they have great ambition they're incredibly hard working but sometimes they can put a lot of effort to something that's not really paying off. And as Jupiter goes retrograde in Aries, I think this is time to rethink if your plans are panning out. And Jupiter will continue its backwards retrograde all the way until October 28th when he revisits Pisces. And Jupiter is very auspicious when it's in Pisces, especially if you are a water sign so cancer scorpio and pisces we will get a second chance at that jupiter trine which was very lucky for all of the water signs earlier this year it's as if jupiter forgot something like he left his keys back in pisces and now he has to go all the way back to pisces and get it but this gives the water signs one more chance to ask the king for his mighty blessing and to have your wishes come true. So around October 28th, if you're a water sign, you know, get ready to make your wish and hope that this time Jupiter doesn't forget to pay you <laughs> and get grant your wish. And then um, Jupiter will be going back into Aries after that. And this whole new moon cycle this new moon leo going into aquarius is really going to be felt by the fixed signs we have so much fixed sign energy we have taurus all that stuff going on with the triple threat conjunction happening in taurus and then leo is the new moon and we're still in that powerful lion's gate portal which will be exact on august 8th it's every year it's 8 8 is the lion's gate and by the way i will be doing a live right here on youtube it's a reiki distance reiki activation on the lion's gate on august 8th and we just have so much of that juicy fiery leo energy 
Leo is a fixed sign. And then we've got Scorpio. Scorpio is opposing that whole Taurus explosion of conjunction. So Scorpio is feeling, all Scorpios will really be feeling that Taurus conjunction as well. And then this new moon will grow into the Aquarius full moon on August 11th. And Aquarius is a fixed sign. So we're dealing with four, all four of the major fixed signs. This month can feel very rigid and it's a little bit stuck energy. I am a Scorpio with Leo rising and a lot of Aquarius. I know what it's like to be a fixed sign. <laughs> fixed signs are a little bit obsessive. Like I got to do this thing and there's a pressure and a stress and sometimes fixed signs will create obstacles for themselves because they're just trying too hard. They're pushing too hard to make things happen. So take some time to take a breath amidst all these fixed signs. If you're more of an adaptable sign, like a cancer, you might be feeling like, wow, there's a lot of stress in the world right now. And that's just because we are under four powerful fixed signs that are all having these major events, the triple threat conjunction in Taurus, the lion's gate in Leo, the full moon in Aquarius, and the opposition in Scorpio. So if you are a fixed sign, you are feeling all of that too. We have so many planets in Leo right now. This is all that fiery, I am a lion, hear me roar. Rawr. You just might want to go out into the mountains and just roar this month. And this is a really creative time, a very expressive. Leos are so expressive. Leos rule over drama and theater. And so we might be seeing a lot of drama this month. And then when you combine that with that Taurus triple threat conjunction, that bull in the china shop, there's just a lot of potential for arguments and debates and, you know, fiery Taurus and Leo, just that's a lot of conflict energy with a lot of ego. So try to get out of your ego mind and try to have compassion and remember the pause. <laughs> it feels like this whole year we're going to be needing to take that pause before we respond because that fiery Leo has so much hot energy and really wants to roar and I am right and I am ego meeting up with the Taurus bull that is ready to fight and sees red. It could be a lot of anger and disputes and even road rage this month. So just be careful while you're out there and try not to engage the crazy as I like to say. Let me know your new moon in Leo intention. What do you want to manifest in your heart of the lion? This is a wonderful new moon for manifesting something to fulfill your heart's desire, whether it be looking for new love or a new home, or maybe you just want to manifest abundance and that would spark your heart. What is in your heart? Let me know down in the comments. And if you leave your intention, I will write it on a piece of paper. I'll put it in my singing bowl and I'll ring it into existence on this new moon on July 28th. I'll send so much distance Reiki to your intention. So drop it in the comments. And I am doing this Lion's Gate class at, at Unity Community of Central Oregon. And I want to invite all of you. It's on August 6th. And I still have room available. I don't know if summer is a crazy time to teach a class, but it's funny because I'm the only other Reiki for Abundance class I'm teaching is on September 10th, which is the harvest full moon. And that class is already full with a wait list. So there's no more room in 2022 for you to get Reiki for Abundance class from me unless you do this Unity class. And everyone who attends on August 6th, we'll receive my new Reiki for Abundance book, which I published, self-published on Amazon. And I'm currently recording the Audible. It's been so fun. And so I'm also doing, if you just want to learn more about this Leo Lionsgate portal and how to use it to manifest, I'm also doing a free prosperity potluck with Unity Church. And that is happening on Thursday, August 4th, 
all month long unity is doing these incredible prosperity potlucks where you come together in community to manifest greater prosperity and I know so many of us need this and this is the time of year when we're in this Leo energy Leos are incredible manifestors if you know any Leos they can make things happen and that's why I love teaching Reiki for Abundance during the Leo season. That's why I'm doing this prosperity potluck. And that is completely free. All you need to do is bring a dish to share. We'll have a huge meal in community at Unity. And I'm super excited for that one. And then I'm also, if you go to Unity uh, Church on Sundays, I'm going to be doing a Souls on Fire. Just a brief, like five minute, five to ten minute talk about what the Lionsgate portal is and how to use Reiki to manifest and that will be on July 31st Sunday July 31st I hope I'm getting these dates right a lot of dates in my head but anyway so um, make sure like I said leave your new moon in Leo intention and then also join us for this prosperity potluck or come to the souls on fire those are free all leading up to that incredible Lionsgate Reiki for Abundance class at Unity on August 6th and on August 8th I'm going to be doing a live right here on YouTube so sign up for that too that's you can find that in my YouTube feed and I'm going to do a distance Reiki activation on Monday at noon and even if you can't be there at noon on Monday for the live you can always tune in because this is quantum healing time and space doesn't really matter when you get into quantum healing which I just love that about Reiki thank you for watching this Leo new moon report and I hope all your Leo new moon intentions come true I hope you manifest all that you desire in your heart of the lion and I'm gonna send distance Reiki and an energy clearing for all of you who are watching this now from here on the river thank you so much for watching like subscribe and hit the bell notifications to stay tuned for my future reports and make Make sure you watch that triple threat conjunction report too. Thank you.